Why do they call it cowboy caviar? Who knows? Uh, it's delicious and it's a bean salad, but it's full of veggies. You can serve it as an appetizer or you can serve it as a side dish. Let's start by making the dressing, as I love to do right in the serving bowl. Some wine vinegar, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar, and then a grated clove of garlic. So I'm, I'm putting this through the microplane because I really want it to disappear. So you can use a mincer, and then whisk it, and then set it aside. I'm gonna measure out the olive oil, but I'm not putting it in yet. I want that garlic to sit in the vinegar mixture so that it kind of gets milder. Here come all of the veggies. So the, the only thing with cowboy caviar is you want to take some time to make sure that the veggies are really cut quite finely so that you can scoop them up with tortilla chips. So I've got this pepper cut into teeny tiny thin even matchsticks and then I'm going to cut them crosswise into very tiny little cubes. This red onion I'd already cut into for one of the other recipes so I'm just going to actually take off two big slices here, take the peel off and then chop it also into little tiny cubes. Next up, cherry tomatoes. Now, I want these to be quite small, so you could cut them into quarters, but that just feels like it's gonna take me for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go through my big container of cherry tomatoes here and just choose the tiniest ones and only cut them in half. That way they're not gonna lose all of their juice as well when they're in with the other ingredients. So cut each one of these little cherry tomatoes in half and then add them all, to, this is just an add-ins bowl. Okay, we got beans and corn. Yes, I'm using canned corn here. I like it a little bit better. So you wanna drain and rinse both of those and then add them to the add-ins. Okay, a jalapeno. So I always chop my jalapeno on a separate little board so that I don't get spicy stuff all over my main cutting board. And so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Now, people think it's the seeds that are the spicy part. It's actually the white stuff that holds the seeds in. So if you're trying to reduce the spiciness of your jalapeno, you wanna cut out that white stuff um, and also shake out all of the seeds that are in there. And then again, teeny, teeny thin strips uh, one way and then you wanna hold them all together and mince them as finely as you can so that that lovely little hit of spiciness gets well distributed in the salad. Once the garlic has sat in that mixture, I can whisk in the olive oil, take a little taste, it might need a little bit more salt or sugar, and then let's stir everything in. All of those lovely vegetables, finely chopped, mixed in, there goes the jalapeno. Uh, would fresh cilantro be appropriate here? 100% if it's not gonna polarize your guests. Um, take a little taste, it might need, again, nice little, maybe, might need a little bit more pepper, might need a little bit more vinegar, might need a little bit more salt. But remember, you will be serving this with tortilla chips. So like I said, this could be an appetizer, this could be a side dish. The tortilla chips with the corn are an amazing way to amplify the kind of cowboy nature of this cowboy caviar.